Hi everyone in this lecture we are going to learn about coat trellis and state diagram so this is what the encoder that we discussed in our earlier lecture here we apply the input and these are the three message bit that is named as m m1 and m2 where m is a current message bit and m1 and m2 are representing the previous two message bits on the basis of the input and these three message bit we will get our encoded output that is named as x1 and x2 and finally on the basis of these two encoded outputs we will get our final output now the representation for x1 that is here would be m xor m1 xor m2 similarly the x2 will be equals to m xor m2 that's how we can see from this encoder also now we know that there are two message bit that representing the previous two message bit that's why there will be 2 to the power 2 combination are possible that is nothing but 4 only that ranges from 00 to 11 so here are the possible four combination that is 00 01 10 10 and 11 let us represent these four possibilities by the help of states so these are the states of this register that is for the 01 is representing a state sorry 00 is representing a state 01 is representing b state 10 is representing c state and 11 is representing state d now let's obtain this table on the basis of this table so we will have a clear idea about the current state as well as next state so here are the m1 and m2 values likewise here so if the value of m1 and m2 is 0 0 that is here so it is getting the current state as a that's what i said here similarly i rewrite this expression also similarly for the 0 1 it is representing b state so here is 0 1 that is representing b state and it is rewritten here after that 1 0 is representing c state so 1 0 is representing c state and it is also rewritten here after that 1 1 is representing state d that is 1 1 is representing d state and it is rewritten here now let us take a scenario in which our current message bit that is m value is nothing but 0 so if the value of m is 0 then we will get the value of x1 on the basis of m xor m1 xor m2 so the value of x1 will be 0 similarly if we evaluate the value of x2 then it will also result out into 0 now similarly if the value of m is 1 then in that scenario the value of x1 from this expression will be 1 and the value of x2 will be 1 also now if the value of message is 0 again then in that scenario here the value of x1 would be 1 and the value of x2 would be 1 again if the value of current message bit is 1 then the value of x1 is 0 and the value of x2 is 0 similarly again if the current bit is 0 then the value of x1 is 1 and the value of x2 is 0 if the current bit is 1 then the value of x1 would be 0 and the value of x2 would be 1 similarly if the current bit is 0 then the value of x1 is 0 and the value of x2 is 1 and if the message bit current that is equals to 1 then the value of x1 is 1 and the value of x2 is 0 so that's how we can calculate the value of x1 and x2 based on the value of current bit that is for 0 and for 1 in each of the cases and these are representing the current state now if you carefully observe this figure then we can say that the current state is decided
on the basis of two bits that is m1 and m2 but if we talk about the value of next state then the next state will be decided on the basis of bit m and m1 now let's analyze and write the next bit values sorry let's write the value for next state so if the value of m is 0 and m1 is 0 so 0 0 comes out to be a state so here is state a if the value of m is 1 and m1 is 0 so 1 0 result into state c similarly 0 0 will comes out to be state a and 1 0 will result into state c only now 0 1 indicates the state b and 1 1 indicates the state d now 0 1 indicates the state b and 1 1 indicates the state d so that's how we can evaluate the next states now let us have a look at the code trellis so here is the current state and here is a next state the current state have four state that is a b c and d and a b and c d are also there in next state so let's plot the code trellis so if the input if the current state is a sorry sorry so if the current state is a and the input sorry so if the current state is a that is here and the input message bit is 0 then we can say that the next state would be sorry so before understanding about the code trellis let us have a look at this concept that is if we have the input message bit that is m value is 0 then we will use solid line and if the value of m is equals to 1 then we will use dashed lines now let's plot the code trellis diagram so if the current state is a that is here and if the input bit is 0 then the next state would be a since it is 0 that's why we will use solid line so this is solid line and what is output here it is 0 0 so we will write 0 0 here similarly if the current state is a and the input message bit is 1 then we can say that the next state would be c so here is a and here is c but here the input message bit is 1 that's why we will use dashed lines to join it so that's how we can join it and what would be the output it is 1 1 so we will simply write 1 1 here now let's draw it for state b so if the current state is b that is here sorry now let's draw the code trellis for state b so if the current state is b and the input message bit is 0 then the next state is a since it is 0 that's why we will use solid line so here is the next state and what would be the output it is 1 1 so we will write 1 1 here similarly if the current state is b and the input message bit is 1 then the next state is c and since it is 1 that's why we will use dashed lines so let's join the state b and c by the help of dashed lines and what is output here the value of output is 0 0 so let me write 0 0 here similarly let's plot it for 
the state C. So, if the current state is C, that is here, and the input is 0, then the next state would be B. So, the next state is B here. And what is output here? It is 1, 0. So, here is 1, 0. Similarly, if the current state is C and the input message bit is 1, then the next state would be D. So, let me join it here. And what is output here? It is 0, 1. Now, let us plot it for the state D. So, if the current state is D, that is here, and the input message bit is 0, then the next state would be B. So, this is the joining and what is the output here? It is 0, 1. Similarly, if the current state is D and the input message bit is 1, then the next state would be D. So, it is represented by the dashed lines. And what is output here? It is 1, 0. So, that is how we can perform the drawing of code trellis. Now, let us have a look at the state diagram representation. Since we have the four state that is known as A, B, C and D. So, here are the four state A, B, C and D. Now, let us join it on the basis of this table. So, if the current state is A that is here and the input message bit is 0, then the next state would be A and since it is 0, that is why we will use solid lines. So, this is the solid line and what is the output here? It is 0, 0. So, it is 0, 0. Similarly, if the current state is A and the input message bit is 1, then the next state would be C. And since the input message bit is 1, that is why we will use dashed lines. So, and what is output here? It is 1, 1. Similarly, if we talk about the state B, then if the current state is B and the input message bit is 0, then the next state would be A. So, it will be joined like this. And what is output here? It is 1, 1. Similarly, if the current state is B and the input message bit is 1, then the next state would be C only. So, it will be C. And what is output here? It is 0, 0. So, it is 0, 0. Now, let us talk about the state C. So, if the current state is C and the input message bit is 0, then the next state is B. So, here is the B. And what is output here? It is 1, 0. Similarly, if the current state is C and the input message bit is 1, then the next state would be D. So, it is D. And what is output here? It is 0, 1. Similarly, let us talk about this state D. So, if the current state is D and the input message bit is 0, then the next state is B. So, it will be joined like this. And what is output here? It is 0, 1. Similarly, if the current state is D and the input message bit is 1, then the next state would be D only. So, it will be represented by dashed lines and the output is 1, 0. So, that is how we can draw the state diagram and the code trellis diagram on the basis of this table. If you like my content, then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button. Thank you.